Hello traders, uh, hello traders, uh, the title of the video is Euro Australian Dollar Forex Trader Reveals His Trading Method. Euro Australian Dollar Forex Trader Reveals His Trading Method. We are on a monthly chart uh, as you can see here. Now by the way I'm on a weekly chart, let's go back to the monthly chart. So we are on a monthly chart and then this is a trend line I want traders to draw on their charts okay you can see here connecting at uh, this point here on a monthly chart all right see the low of uh, august 2012 we connected with uh, the low of april uh, 2015 all right and we have uh, the red trail this is a very important uh, trail line uh, because uh, this trail line was supporting the price for some time and you can see that uh, recently the price breaks below that uh, trend line and uh, retest it on the edge. Have I said on the edge? Well, I did. There is a video at the George Trio uh, channel. The title of that video was uh, Trading on the Edge Explain. I highly recommend that video to all traders. Trading on the Edge Explain. So price breaks below that important uh, red trend line and retest it on the edge. This is an invitation to sell. Trader use a top-down trading method to sell it down. And it stop here on the red, on the pink line here. This level of 14066. So apart from the red trend line on the monthly chart, uh, you must also draw on your chart this level here, 14066. All right, and also the level of 14982. Have those lines on your charts. Now, the reason why you must have uh, the pink lines, those two pink lines on your chart, is because uh, the price is consolidating between those two pink lines. You may say, Joe, the price went above it also. Yes, if you project that uh, the, the, the width of that uh, pink trend line project the width of that uh, pink uh, channel or to the upside you see bring us to the top here in that zone all right but I, I want to concentrate okay on the pink channel I know the channel is a little bit wider but personally I want to use okay the pink channel so understand what I'm doing so by projecting the width of that pink channel it bring us here all right so, price breaks below the right trend line and retest it on the edge. One of the biggest trading mistakes is the violation of what? I hear you. The market patterns. All right. So, you can quickly improve, or if somebody is struggling, day trading, swing trading, you can quickly help that person by pointing to that, that person that you must always pay attention to the market pattern on every time frame rising channel declining channel and a horizontal channel if that person start paying attention to that he or she will quickly improve okay their trading strategy so as they showed it on the edge of the, the red line they bring it to the lower part of the consolidation because the prior as i told you between the 14982 and 14066 there is a consolidation taking place here so that's why as the as the price breaks below the red trend line and retest it they sold it professional are aware of it you see they push it down and they take profit here those who sold it here took profit here among those traders were day traders scalpers swing traders position traders so you may say to me, Joe, we are on the monthly chart. Yes. So as you can see here, it breaks below retest. As a scalper, you will be looking for opportunity to sell, looking for bearish chart pattern on your lower time frame, three minute time frame, five minute time frame, scalping on the edge. Now we came again on the edge of the lower part of uh, the, the horizontal channel. So what can we say to traders at this point in time? Okay, what I will say to trader talking about your Australian dollar forex trader reveal his trading method. What I will say to trader is that 
priority to bearish signal all right below 14472 oh george what does that uh, key level the 14472 is the short term equilibrium price level for the euro dollar euro australian dollar correction euro australian dollar short term equilibrium price level that we must watch in the next two to three weeks is the one for four seven two all right so priority to bearish signal below one four four seven two and priority to bullish signal above it now as you can see if one receive a sell signal on the edge of one four four seven two and the price going down as it's coming near the one four zero this level one four zero six six you want to come out of your bearish trade and instead become bullish so we are giving priority to bearish signal below 14472 the short term equilibrium possible for the next two to three weeks or so and we are giving to bullish to, we are giving priority to bullish signal above that level but if it comes near 14066 all right we must give priority to bullish signal above 14066 because it's the lower part of the consolidation so you may say george i don't find this useful well the point is that the price is oscillating between 14982 and 14066 okay so what is happening professional as you can see they sold it on the edge on the upper side of the pink channel now they bring it down to this point all right and people are buying it now from the 14060 which is the lower part of the consolidation okay let me change the color of this uh, pink one here and I'm going to quickly switch uh, to I'll change it to green all right and we'll quickly go to the our return frame we are looking for the pink line look uh, look at look at that okay near the lower part we see on the hour return frame a double bottom chart pattern what's that it's a bullish chart pattern so as they saw it on the top of the consolidation price came near the lower part of the consolidation price start forming bullish chart pattern near that uh, line okay the line that has changed the color from pink to green you see what's happening now so this is what's happening but i have one more key level which is the short-term equilibrium price level that's the orange line here you see here boom the short-term equilibrium price level so though the price oscillating in a bigger channel you remember the pink channel on the monthly chart a lot of traders are not aware of the short-term equilibrium price level. This short-term equilibrium price level remain in place for the next two weeks, next two, three, two to three weeks. So, though people are buying now near the, the, the green line here at 14066, as the price approaching 14472, there are traders that will be willing to sell. That's why you can see now it's struggling a bit to come near this level. So the best scenario is to look for bearish chart pattern in the vicinity of 14472 and then if you receive this if you see okay a bearish trading setup you will now look for the bearish signal on a different time frame and then you will enter the trade on another lower time frame where the risk is low am i making sense all right, I'm trying to speak a bit, uh, all right, slowly now, so everybody can understand my beautiful accent. <laughs> all right, <laughs> all right. You see now, so that pink, that uh, green line, I will change it again to pink because of uh, our channel. So we're going back again where we we were on the monthly chart. Okay, let's go back to the monthly chart. Right. so oscillation market pattern very important or always always market pattern okay this uh, trend line draw it on your chart the red trend line it break below retest it here boom down now we are paying attention to to the horizontal channel okay don't forget one four zero six six draw it one four four seven two short term equilibrium price level very very important key level short term equilibrium price level all right and one four nine eight two trade around those key level break below retest break above retest on the edge that's one more thing 
all right see this trend line here the east trend line see the price is now going down you see from the top here it's still going down professional are also trading on the edge now have i say on the edge again which means you have to watch that video okay trading on the edge explain at your trio youtube channel on the edge they sold it on the edge will you agree they sold it. this trainer here which color should i use now i'm running out of option now use green all right see they are selling on the edge okay of that green trend line so also draw your chart that on your chart that uh, green trend line because professional watching it one more thing well george what's going on okay one more thing okay one more thing okay there is also right a triangle and that triangle is this one here this is the height of the triangle you see here this is the base of the triangle all right here it is another part of the triangle here hypotenuse all right we have a triangle here can you see that triangle the session here so a lot of uh, chart pattern traders will pay attention to that to the height of that triangle uh, if uh, the euro australian dollar becomes truly truly bearish they will be watching this level one to seven one seven by projecting the height of that triangle below the base all right so as i'm telling you now priority to bear signal below 14472 on the edge all right take it gently if you come to 14066 people would like to buy because of the consolidation but if it fail if it finally breaks below that pink trend line and final resistance well and continue to go down the ultimate bearish target using the height of that triangle is set nicely here you just need to know that's all you need to know put it there one two seven one seven doesn't mean that the power will come here definitely but you just put it there for the long term it may not reach it at all it may not go even near that level one more thing okay we use uh, the height of that triangle as i mentioned to you now we want to use also i draw again another channel here in a funny way trader will say joe how can you draw a channel like this so what i've done in fact you see uh, we were paying attention to this uh, right trend line yes or no okay so i just select this point here this point and i draw a line that is parallel to our important trend line that's a red trend line that we have drawn and we just choose the this point here and we draw a line that is parallel to it and i have a channel and i use also the width of that channel this is about market geometry and i project it down because if the price start going down we want to know where are the support level yes or no we want to know so for that reason we will we are that for that reason that's why we use also the height of that triangle to see if there's a support here all right we can also divide okay the zone between the, the 14472 and the 12717 into two all right to see the media line but i don't want to draw it and now we are using also the width of the rising channel so are we going to call it now the red rising channel you understand how i draw it okay we have this red line we just choose this point we draw another line that is parallel so if you measure the width of that uh, red uh, channel and we project it down it bring us to this uh, trailer here i color it also into red this is also a support level because we are talking about trading on the edge this is how professional trading they always trade on the edge so have those lines on your chart to improve your euro australian dollar for us okay trading all right this is about uh, your australian dollar for us a trader reveals his uh, trading method so to summarize this video to traders 
the current market pattern is a consolidation okay between the level of 149 82 and 14066 so technically speaking professional trader would like to give priority to sell signal on the edge of 14982 it's a price going up so if it's going up it come near 14982 they will be willing to sell it okay they will be looking for bearish okay trading setup and then they will use different time frame trading method to trade it okay now if the price is going down as you can see it was going down going down going down it come near the level of 14066 as you can see here they bought it here they will be willing to buy it here all right this is about the market pattern but apart from uh, those uh, two key level i also give to traders the short-term equilibrium price level by the way i'm the only one that knows how to calculate exactly i say it all the time so today we say georgie you say it all the time yes you have to shout about it <laughs> all right <laughs> all right the short-term equilibrium price level is a one four four seven two all right so looking at the price structure at this point in time i say to traders priority to bear is signal below one four four seven two and priority to bullish signal above because this is the short term equilibrium price level if it stay below it it's barely if it stay above it it's bullish but remember that if one is selling from the short term equilibrium price level do not forget the 14066 all right very very important that's why people are buying now we are quite close as i show you on the hour little frame quite close to the short term equilibrium price level. will he find a resistance there well we will see if it doesn't don't force it all right you are looking follow the trading the, the setup the signal and a low risk entry point using different time frames all right we also highlight the width of the the red channel okay to identify the support level you see anytime you see a channel also pay attention to the media line you see the, where is the media line now of this uh, secondary red channel that's where the price is stuck now you see on the edge of the media line if i adjust my line on the, on the edge of the media line of uh, our secondary trend line all right we we'll also pay attention to that uh, triangle that i mentioned to you there is a support somewhere here do not forget also the media line between the orange line and this one so you want to know where are the key level that's why you want to make your decision all right and also this very straight line very straight line so you may say to me George there are too many lines you want to watch yes because now that the high frequency traders can use computers to draw all these lines to recognize all these key level it make it simpler for them but as a technical trader you want to know where are the support level where are the resistance level because as a professional you want to trade like a pro you want to use different time frame trading method and you want to trade also on the edge as a forex trader it's completely crazy to ignore the economy news all right so you want to check forexfactory.com the check the economy calendar know the economy news that i do all right and how it may affect okay the currency market the euro right now is uh, under pressure talking about the market sentiment all right because of uh, the federal reserve decision to put up interest rates in united states so there is a money flow from a different part of the world into united states right now that's why the dollar has more chance to appreciate in relation to other currencies all right so you see now so we have all this line you see you see how the price was on the edge of the media line of that red channel the secondary red channel you see here on the edge can you see that on the edge on the edge you see on the edge so you want to map it out first from the higher time frame before dropping down to your lower time frame to make your decision all right okay let me know how you find this video do you find it useful draw all this line and try to trade you see also okay the, the, around this this uh, the kilogram price level decisions are made around key levels and you want to know where they are using market geometry projection of horizontal channel projection of uh, 
pricing channel, projection of decline channel. Anytime you see a channel, also be aware of the media lines. All right, all right. Use the market pattern first. Right. So on the hourly time frame, if I ask you now, what is the current market pattern on the hourly time frame? Is what? It's a consolidation again. Now on the hourly time frame, the consolidation is between the short term equilibrium price level 14472 and 14066. The price is oscillating. Can you see that? This is how. So at, on the hourly time frame, those who do not go far are watching 14476 and 14066. And any time you see a channel, they are also watching the media line of this channel between the pink or the orange somewhere, roughly one four two six zero. Right? You see? So you don't want to. That's why I say to jump into the train is to ignore the economy news and don't know where you are. So you just buy because took us over ball. You just you just sell because took us over ball. You just buy because took us so and so. But where are you? Are you on the deep end of the swimming pool? Or are you on the shallow part of the swimming pool, so to speak? So, so jumping into the trade, I'll be recording a video about what is jumping in the trade. And that will help traders to see exactly what the mistakes that they are making. All right? This is the end of the tutorial. If you have any question or suggestion, put in the comment section. And in due course, I will be recording another video to answer your specific uh, question. We are the TSTW24 traders talking about your Australian dollar. Forex trader reveals his trading method. Happy trading to you all and speak to you soon.